Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Now you join me again for another renovation video in the cottage where I pit my skills against this ancient, ancient cottage. It's putting up quite a fight. Every little twist and turn I push forward I find something else which is all to be expected although some finds are worse than others. But anyway, I feel that I'm winning the battle with this at the moment. Secured the chimney area, got another purling in behind me here. Got one to go above, some more render and some more repair work to do. But yeah, it does feel like it's becoming solid once again. So let's just push on with this video, and rescue this lovely old cottage. that is the trailer empty so now I'm going to turn my attention to the top purling we're going to do the same as what we did there but up there so I'm going to need a scaffolding a bit of brickwork to do maybe some rendering yeah it really does need it up there to be working in. We'll get all that blocked up, get a nice new purling in there. It's quite a hole. And the purling, which is this timber, isn't looking that great to be honest. Right, let pull my finger out. some mortar knocked up some lime mortar fill this area up and carefully rebuild it back just there you can see how much of the wall I had to remove to allow 
timber to go in there, soon build it back up. But I certainly don't want to lose any more of it. Now I know from experience, unfortunately, when you put a straight pearl in, scissored next to an old twisted one, it's not going to go in very smoothly. Uh, yeah, it's bowed quite a bit in the centre. Could cause me some issues. I really need to get a straight edge along here and just work out basically how many inches it's out because it's, it's quite a lot. The roof really has bowed here so I do need to get this in. Not going anywhere right this second, you know. Over the years it's slowly, slowly warped. So I've got a straight edge. I'll take you up there and just show you exactly what I'm up against. Now, this is a little bit tricky but I think you'll get the idea. So you can imagine this is the purling. Once it's pushed up against the rafters at this point here, by the time it gets down to that end, if you start projecting right across these timbers, you'll see how far out it is already. I think it's best illustrated if I get the purling up here and put it on its edge. Four inches, so we've got a four inch deflection in the rafters. I'm not under any illusions that this is going to go straight in. I think it's going to be a process of nibbling away at it, but that's okay. I can always pack it out afterwards. What's the worst that could happen? So we've got to cut that in. I've just got to maneuver it over and hopefully I can twist it into position. Keeping on that end and shout if it starts falling. Blimey. Well, we're in this end. Wow. It's out quite a bit that end. Oh yeah. Mind you, that's, that's lifting the bow out a little bit, out of the rafters. So you can see just how much out it is there. It's got a bit of stonework we've got to take out, but as I said before, I can build that up. So maybe I'll get another stone out, get the pearl in a little bit closer to the old one here, and then work it out from there. And that's just how far the purling is, the new purling, away from the old rafters. Nearly five inches. So we're good this end. Nice tight cut around there. That end's nice and secure. And maybe I can push this up to take the deflection away from the roof. Take much 
thing I can do now is get a fix in the other end into the old purling and then that way I can pivot off of the fixing and get this pushed up and get a fixing in this. some hardwood wedges and packers what I'm going to do is pack it that end get some clamps on there and then work my way along with these fittings so be nice and strong I'm just going to pull it up with a clamp try and take the deflection the bow or the dip out of the roof see where it's sagged they've put a, a new rafter in a few years ago to address the, the problem just got to listen to the tiles make sure there's no movement or cracking and splitting any rafters Believe it or not, it's taking that bow out of this area. Okay, that's great. I'm going to wedge that end in now. Be a lot happier once I start watering these stones in. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Go and take a look. See what you think. So I've managed to get a big solid chunk of beach in there to support the section that I come out, cut out the purling. So yeah, it is absolutely solid now. Once I build it up with the stonework and the bricks, it will be brilliant. So yeah, we're, we're still a little way off of the rafters here. What I plan to do with that, let me show you. Let's take another length of timber. So it picks up on those rafters. It's all going to be boxed in, so you know we get a good fixing in there. That will address that problem. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Okay, we just work our way along now. We've got another two fixings across here. That is superb. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. You're not always sure how it's going to go. I had a good idea what I was going to do with it, but you know, I just didn't want to lose all that stonework. Pulling it up to the old purling. I've got it clamps that way as well. Yeah, the more I look on this side, I can see all sorts of snapped battens that the tiles are sitting on, where the rafters have slowly sagged, and of course, there's no strength really in the battens, and they just go. Okay, let's clamp down. Quick drill.
that's it. Just touching that in now so it's nice and firm against the old purling. Another fixing. I'm laughing. Okay. Right. I'm going to give this two good coatings of looking at. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.